Today we're talking about stress and the way stress is dealt with in modern medicine and contemporary modern medicine aligning with uh, traditional medicine, which being traditional Chinese medicine or Ayurveda. Now, stress is a huge contributor for a lot of diseases, premature aging. You'd see stressed people have more wrinkles, uh, you'd see their hair fall, you would see a number of visual indicators that pretty much indicate that these people are living highly stressed out lives. So what does modern medicine talk about when they talk about stress? Well, they say, you know, sustained stress creates high level of cortisol. Sustained high level of cortisol impacts almost all your vital systems, whether it's your endocrine system, whether it's your nervous system, your cardiovascular system, right up to your digestive system, you would see the impact when you're highly stressed. And what we came across in our research uh, lately was uh, the complex neuroendocrine system where, you know, there's a HPA, which is the hypothalamus pituitary axis, which is impacted by the high level of uh, cortisol, which then results in physical, physiological responses like increased blood sugar, uh, suppression of the immune system, and a number of other factors uh, without going into too much detail what it creates is a, it creates a negative loop which then runs through your body and after it impacts the systems at a high level it starts impacting organs individually and these are your vital organs and you'd see a long-term impact on your organs then is resulting in premature aging or uh, disease now, how do we correlate this with uh, traditional medicine, for example, or uh, Eastern medicine? Now, in TCM, uh, the three key aspects to good health is Shen, Qi, and Jing. Shen being the mind. So, a calm mind is a cornerstone for longevity, for uh, living younger and longer, for living healthier. So the emphasis is on calming the shen uh, there are a number of points in acupuncture like in tongue which is uh, dedicated to calm the shen or calm the mind likewise uh, tcm talks about uh, life essence sitting in kidneys and stress hits kidneys uh, substantially you would see that uh, as i was talking earlier with uh, the hpa or the complex neuroendocrine system that we are looking at in modern medicine, it correlates to, you know, 2000 year old medicine, where you would see that if kidneys are stressed, there'd be hair fall, because under TCM, you'd see that hair bloom is linked to your kidneys, or Jing, your life essence sits in kidneys. So it's impacting that. Likewise, if you look at uh, Ayurveda, it talks about uh, an imbalance between the doshas, which then creates uh, stress. And that stress is uh, detrimental. So it essentially states that, you know, a calm mind and a calm heart is essential. And both TCM and Ayurveda talk about energy rushing to the head, which needs to be released in a positive way in order to manage stress. And we see that in uh, our modern system. You know, you go running, you do a workout, you do yoga, you do any form of physical activity and you'd see that your stress levels are lowering automatically. You know, drinking plenty of water, you would notice that it would reduce stress. I've made a dedicated video on uh, a number of ways of reducing stress in a drug-free manner. Please have a look at it. But overall, that's the concept. And in fact, I was uh, amazed uh, that in the way we culture, and we're not even talking about Ayurveda, we're talking the Vedas pre-Ayurveda. And all Vedic prayers used to end in something called the Shanti part, which means uh, uh, a prayer for peace. And it starts with inner peace, which then radiates out to your home, which then radiates out to your neighborhood, your suburb, your county, your state, your country, and the world at large. Ideally, we'd love to live in that world, but we don't. But what we can control is our own inner peace. So let's start with that. Let's make our home a peaceful place.
And if we can achieve that, well, at least we can shut the door once we're at home and block the negative stress triggers out. So given your modern medicine, uh, your ancient medicine, all correlate and emphasize on the impact of stress on your body, why not do something about it? And that's where at a high level, drink plenty of water, practice deep breathing. We worked out 45 breaths, deep breaths, deep inhales and exhales. By the time you hit 45, you would feel a difference, a marked difference. Physical activity, moment. Uh, you know, it could be something as flaccid as, uh, you know, light yoga exercises or Tai Chi or Qigong. Or it could be, if your health allows, uh, a high intensity swim in cold water, a quick sprint, and you would feel the release of energy in a positive manner. Work on a stress management plan if you can, so that when you know that you're going into high stress uh, environments, you have the right balanced diet, you make sure you're properly hydrated, and you have worked out so that your endorphins are running high in your body to counter the negative effects of stress. In addition to that, uh, there are some mental exercises that you can do to uh, manage stress. One is disassociating yourself from the situation temporarily, elevating yourself, extracting yourself, and telling yourself that, you know, if this is a friend that's come to you and asking you for advice because they're highly stressed, what are you going to tell them? It helps you become objective as you extract yourself from the situation, which is very important. Because once you become objective, it gives you a grip on the situation. Then the other thing is looking at stress and stress triggers beyond the short-term implications. Ask yourself, if the worst was to come to pass, how would your life be? 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 40 years from now. Is it as bad as you getting a stroke and ending up in a vegetative state? Do you think that by being stressed, you are being able to apply yourself at your optimum level? No. The moment you calm yourself down, you might be able to perform a lot better and dealing with those stress triggers and the situation at hand. So until next time, please take care of yourself, wishing you good mental health and inner peace. Let's look after our mind, stay calm, Keep a calm mind and a calm heart for eternal youth. Thank you.